So we've looked at z-scores, we looked at Chebyshev's theorem, we looked at the empirical rule, we looked at detecting outliers and the rule of thumb that we could use of three standard deviations, uh, you know, having a z-score of three or greater. Uh, now we're going to talk about distribution of shape. We've already sort of talked about that a little bit. With uh, the empirical rule, we're talking about like, you know, normal distribution, the bell curve. Um, but now we're going to talk about it with these slides here, and this is just skewness. And we looked at this a little bit when we looked at histograms. But there's a formula that you could use to calculate skewness. We're not going to worry about it in this class. Just want to kind of expose you to it and make sure I cover it because it's in the textbook. You might have to do a problem or two with it. But an important me measure of the shape of distribution. The distribution is how is the data distributed, right? So this is one way the data could be distributed. It could be a bell-shaped curve. It could be the normal distribution. Uh, it could be not skewed like this. This is also kind of like the bell-shaped curve, right? But an important measure of the shape of distribution is called skewness. And here's a measure, here's a uh, formula for measuring skewness. And skewness can be computed with statistical software. We're not going to do it. So here is, uh, you know, the skewness here is zero. And uh, the mean and median are equal, right? The mean and the middle, the median, are equal here. Here is a moderately skewed left. And in this case, the mean will usually be less than the median. All right, so the middle of the data will be over here and the mean will be over here. So the mean is less and this is called skewness is negative, negative 0.85. And then here skewness is 0.85. And in this case, the mean will be more than the median. All right, so if you kind of just think about that, like the median is the middle of the data, right? But the middle of the data, we have like bigger values out to the right. Uh, we have more values out to the right, so the more values out to the right are going to increase the means. The mean will be bigger than the middle of the data. And here we have even more values out to the right. So again, the mean's going to be bigger than the median. It's just, okay, that's fine. But that's skewness. This is skewed to the left. This is skewed to the right. That sounds like that should be some hokey pokey song, but that's, uh, that's sort of measuring shape and starting to think about shape of how your data is distributed and you know skewed left and skewed right. Like that's the main thing to take away from this. Skewed left, skewed right, not skewed. <laughs> that's the main thing to take away. All right, that's measuring skewness.